Okay, the next quick change that we need to make to this patch is to put in a preset system. I'm going to do that using Pata Storage. A Pata Storage object needs a name. I'll call it uh, John. We can associate a Pata Storage object with a preset user interface in the inspector. This is going to be inside a B patcher, of course, so I'm going to use an inlet to be able to send messages from the main patch into the B patcher in order to save and load preset files in the Pata storage object. I'm going to include an auto patter object, and basically the auto patter object will make any user interface objects with names get saved into presets that are saved in the pattern storage. So now I'm going to name all of the user interface objects that I want to save presets, save in my presets. So once you've named all of the objects that you want to include in your presets, they should show up in the client window of the Pata Storage object. Um, you can bring that up by double clicking on the Pata Storage object itself. And I can see that all of the user interface objects I want to save are there. So I can save this and And I'll test it out in an example patch. So I'll create a B patcher and load that file into the B patcher. And I'm just going to create two instances of this. I need to remember to add my preset interface to presentation mode. And while I'm at it, also add this um, clear message to the matrix control, which I have forgotten so far to add to the presentation mode. I'll just fit those in. Okay, so having saved the patch, it's now updated in those B patches. And We can now test out these presets. So the good thing about using Pata storage um, is that it has um, the ability to kind of smoothly morph between presets, uh, to interpolate between them. Um, that's particularly fun with um, function objects. So now if you remember that I created an inlet um, that's going directly to the pattern storage object. So having created two presets here, sending the message of one should recall preset one. Sending the message of two should recall preset two, but then shifting between them will kind of morph between the presets. And finally, the setup we've got here allows us to load different preset files into different instances of this B patcher within the same patch. So if I connect a write message to one of these B patches after creating some presets, um, I can then save that file. I save that. Um, a preset file called example one, I'll save another one called example two, and then um, using the read message, I can load either of those preset files into the pattern storage system within a given B patcher. So you can just see there that when I click these, 
um, it's changing the set of presets that's loaded within the, the, the um, pattern storage system. That allows us to um, create a preset, a set of presets for one of the B patches within a patch, and then just set it up automatically so that it loads when the patch loads. We could use a load bang um, connected to a message with um, the name read followed by the name of the preset file that we want to load, for example. And so that patch now, if I save it, close it, and then reopen it, um, those two B patches have reloaded and they've reloaded in each case with the preset file that we assigned within this message.